and, and just going off of not being perfect, man, like when you recently shared, you know, your yeah. cheating story, well, what, what, what brought you to that point to express that with the world? I mean, like, it was just a matter of, like, getting past it. You know what I mean? And, like, let, letting the world know, like, you know, we we done been through stuff. And on top of us going through stuff, um, you know what I mean? My partner, a, a beautiful woman, you know what I mean? And she, on top of her being a beautiful lady, she uh she handled her business. And and she 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 makes sacrifices uh to go with the things that I got going on and, and she play her, her her role in a major way. Mm. So, um it was really it was really a matter of just explaining to the world how dumb I was. It was just a matter of letting the world how how dumb I was and that I done made mistakes, but at the end of the day, um I grew from them. You know what I mean? How so? Man, because, like, um, like, that was something that really hurt me when I had did that. It was a year and a half ago. I had got caught texting somebody. It really had hurt me, though, um, just seeing her that way, um, seeing how much it affected her. It kind of, like, broke my heart. So, like, uh, I had told myself, like, you know, um, I'll try to never put her in those shoes again. Like, that's something that I can't allow myself to do. I just wanted to let the world know that I wasn't perfect. Um, but the world took it as, like, you know, whatever they took it as. And, oh, he told the world he cheated unprovoked and ain't nobody asking. It's like, it's life. You know, at least we doing good now. I and mean, we made it past our mistakes. You know what I mean? She ain't got to worry about it being no continuous thing. You know what I mean? Unlike the rest of some of these people. <laughs> yeah. You, heard, so. you know, I thought about that because – what first came to mind when you shared that news, I felt like it wasn't recent because nah, like, it was a year and a half ago. Yeah, it was before my son. My son not even four months yet. It was before my son. It was before she was even pregnant. Like we had just just got together. I'm talking about just just got together. We ain't even been together two years. We just had got together. Still was texting somebody. Why? Why did you feel like it was the perfect time to to, to put that out to the public? Put that information out there. Um, because like, I feel like there's a reason for everything, right? So, what lesson did you want people to take away from that message? Um, I, I wanted people to stop idolizing my relationship. You know what I mean? Because because things take a harder turn when, say, imagine if, imagine if, uh, two years, two more years from now, when we get married, I came out and told the world, or even if like the world never knew what. It, Imagine if the girl who I was texting came out one day and was just like, me and this nigga been texting. Now I got to explain to the world as to why, like, me and her already knew about it. Mm -hmm. But now I got to explain to the world as to why. So instead of it being something like that, it was just a matter of, like, all right, look, world, like, me and Shorty done been through stuff. Like, me and my girl, my fault, not Shorty, but me and my girl done been through stuff and, um, I mean, we ain't perfect. It ain't even stuff. We don't, we don't went through that. We went through that. You know what I mean? And I ain't perfect, but at the end of the day, we worked it out. And, yeah. And we, when we going, you know what I mean? Man, that, like, all this just, like, makes me wonder how has, like, social media affected your relationship? Man, just, just, just from, you know, me broadcasting it so much, you know? Imagine if the world never knew about my girlfriend. Yeah. yeah it wouldn't be, it wouldn't. People wouldn't be saying half of the stuff they say. People wouldn't do half of the stuff they do. Imagine if it's just like if the world never knew about bagging Ari, Dirk, and India. Like, if they, if the world never knew about these relationships, it'll strictly be music. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's what I wanted it to be. I just wanted it to be strictly music. So, it's getting there. I saw you made that statement, and, and the backlash I saw people saying were like, Oh, he's jealous. You know, his baby mom is getting more attention to him than his career, so he's trying to right. focus on his music now. Like, how do you respond to that kind of comment? I mean, the matter of being jealous, I'll never be jealous. You know what I mean? Because, shit, if it's paying the bills, if it's paying the bills and I got to take the back seat, if she taking over, man, I'm going to still pay the bills. But if she, if she, you know what I mean, if that's what's working for her, man, listen, I'm going to still make the music on the side, but. Being jealous, I can never be jealous. You know what I mean? To me, to me, it's crazy. It's like the world. The world. It's, it's easier to paint that narrative. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How could I be jealous when you know it was just a couple months ago I gave her 30k and her reaction wasn't mm -hmm. good, but now her reaction now it went from 
me giving her 30K and her not having the best reaction and I need to break up with her to now I'm jealous of her. Mm. I mean, the world don't know the narrative that they want to paint. They just paint the best narrative, the easiest narrative. They don't paint the best one. Yeah. So I don't really care, bro. I don't care for people with inputs, man. Listen, I, I, I'm a mama's boy, right? Mm. As long as God love me and my mom love me and my son love me. Mm. I don't get no fuck who else is. I don't get no fuck with nobody else think. Mm. But sometimes you'll catch me and it when I when I respond it never be because I give a fuck. It, it always be because some things gotta be nipped in the bud before they go farther than what they already is. Mm. So yeah, I don't know. But to the negative shit, fuck it. Yeah, they they were saying like you were dodging uh, um accountability. Do you do you feel that way at all? Hell no, nah, I'll take accountability. Shit, I was taking accountability on the lot, but they flipped it. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, what I did was wrong, though. You did? Because I, ain't, I, ain't, I had no business putting the world in our in our business and in, and in our relationship. Like, it was invasive, and on top of it being invasive, it was disrespectful to her because it wasn't something that I had talked about with her before I put it out there. It was something that I just put out there. And, like, with us, we big on communication. So it was invasive, and it kind of, like, Made her feel like, you know, if you would tell that secret, what else you would tell? And I and I never do that. I don't like that. So that's a trust that I gotta I gotta gain back from her. Um But then man the world know what's up. I love her. Yeah. I know I know Kevin Hart shared a story once. He said, you know, even you know, when when his incident happened, he said, um, when he was driving in the car, you know, he could he could yeah. feel it. You know, it's been a year, but do you feel that tension still within the the, the, the home? Yeah, like nah, she a- still be on your ass about certain things. That's a that's a trust that gotta you gotta get it back, man. Mm-hmm. Like at the end of the day, and like as a woman, that's it's, it's always gonna be that issue. Like they always gonna have that thought in the back of their head. You know what I mean? But are you comfortable with how however long it takes for for her to get that trust back? Yeah, man. Because at the end of the day, that's her process. You know, that's something that she got to work on with me. I, I like it. I caused it. I caused the trauma, so I can't. I can't be mad how long it takes. I mean, it's a process. I love her, though. 